what's crack like and challengers i'm your host james Merlin, and for the last week i've been at my dad's house in pennsylvania and there's this awesome fish store in maryland it's called rick's fish and pet supply i've been there a couple times and it has some awesome stuff so let's go in oh my gosh i love the indoor pond and they have tons of saltwater stuff too we're gonna take a whole look around I think I filmed a video here before. I'm sorry if the audio is gonna be bad. Here are some awesome little Russian tortoises. One of my dream pets. They're so cute. Oh, babies. Oh, the spiders are a big no. Oh my gosh. That is so, oh, scorpion. Nope, nope, too scary. All right, back to the fish. Oh, a gar. Oh my goodness. He is so big. Look at him. Look at his little teeth. One day if I ever get a predator tank, I'll want some gar. And some Oscars. Look at how big he is. He is huge. And then the albino Oscar. Wow. But look at all the aquariums. And then this is the saltwater section. Oh, a ghost knife fish. Look at the gar. They are amazing. They get huge. Look, yeah, they get 200 Remember pounds. Rachel O'Leary had one? Yeah. Has a... Oh. Oh, a killifish. Oh my gosh, I scared it. Another killifish. I had one. But they die so quickly after like a year in some piranha. Oh, salt water. I really need to work on my salt water tank. Oh, some mud clippers. Yo, I just looked at some discus, and you guys might have not seen my discus for a while, and there's a reason about it, and it's making me sad, and I miss them a lot. I'll talk about that in a different video. They're no longer in my 90 gallon, but uh, I'll talk about it. They're still alive. But I need to, I'll make a video when I get back. It's really loud in there, so I'm trying to talk out here. I might just decide to do like a cinematic and show you guys each tank and not really talk. But this place is like, oof, it's really nice. And then the reptile section's out here. Oh my goodness. It's a cockroach. I should get a cockroach. They look really cool. Do people just keep them as pets? I gotta be honest, that does look really, really menacing. Oh, there are a couple more on the side. Oh my goodness. I kind of want to get a cockroach. They actually look really cool. I don't really know if you keep them as pets or feed them to things, but I can keep them as a pet. They are nine bucks each. I'll have to do it with the research. Maybe I could get one. It looks really, really cool. You guys know I have my ant farm aquarium and my aquariums and my leopard gecko, but I love something new. Oh, look at all the shrimp. So colorful. It's a baby gar. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. Oh, these are like adult. Oh my goodness. There's a pleco in the back too. They have so many killifish. I rarely see pet stores with killifish. I miss my discus. And they have some rams. And quarry catfish. This is a dope tank. That is a really tall tank. Oh cool, you can get some frags. Oh, I wonder if there's seahorses in this tank. Whoa, what is that? What are those things? Those are like little bubble. Whoa. Are those slugs? Sea slugs? It's in an anemone. Oh, they're so... Oh my gosh. I should just buy a pet store. I, I'd keep every single fish for myself. I'd never sell them. This is like this is like my dream pet, but I've never been able to keep it. And they live for like 39 something years. 39? Like 30 or 40 something. And like, I want to make sure my life is stable before I get them. But they, they stay kind of small. Hi. <laughs> But wait, take a look at them. Look how cute they are. It's like my dream pet one day. But aren't they how so about, cute? How about a white marine? No, I'd want a tortoise first. They have so much filter supplies and other things that like other pet stores don't have. Oh, look at all the books. I love aquarium books. They're so neat. Well, this is a neat tank. Look at this. One side, one side, and one side. Oh, five sides. See, I could buy one of these cages, $23, to put the little uh, cockroach in. $23 plus $9. I don't know if I want to get it. I kind of want to, though. I love this pond. It's so cool that it's indoors. Oh, 
I thought that thing was alive for a second. Baby or like a, a fake little alligator. It reminds me of my clownfish. I need to get some turbo snails. There's quite a bit of algae in my, uh, oh, look at these. These are little pest starfish. They suck when you have a big saltwater aquarium. They can just take it over. Let's see if we can, oh my goodness. Yeah. They can really take over an aquarium. Hey, big guy. Oh. He's, he wants to get out. What's a good guy? Oh, he's so cool. I really like, oh, it's really warm. That's good for him. He just wants to say hi or attack me. This guy's just chill. He's the one that wants trouble. I wish I could have like one of every reptile. <gasps> Mine is snakes. Snakes kind of scare me, honestly. And there's a big snake under there. I don't even know what type of snake that is, but there's one. You can see it's a little scaly, little oh, scary. Here's like the cichlid section. Yeah, I don't really know if I'll ever get cichlids just because I kind of like smaller nano fish. I mean, maybe one day I can get a predator tank, but I'd really want like an Oscar for that tank or some other thing. I don't, I don't really know. I'm more into like the, the nano, more peaceful fish. Whoa, look at that guy. He must be important, he's $300. An African tiger. Oh, wow. Look at him. He probably gets really, really big. An African pike. Oh, look at all these ghost shrimp. Honestly, some of my favorite things in the world are ghost shrimp. They're just so cool. They get so big, they are so cheap. You can see 39 cents or four for a dollar, so 25 cents each. These are honestly some of my favorite things in the aquarium hobby. Jamie, look at the ghost shrimp. These are like my favorite things ever. What do you think of them? They're fresh water. Look at them, look at their little babies. They have little eggs in them. It's hard to breed them in fresh water. I think they need to be in brackish. Yeah, they're so cool. Wait, is that inside of it? Yeah, well, they're like see-through. But yeah, they have a little oh, black clutch. Do you know the, the see-through fish that you always see at dentist's office? What see-through fish? See you know how they're see-through? The glass see catfish? Maybe. Maybe they have them. I think those are like what? the only see- what, they scared you? No. Oh cool, the filtration unit down here? A little filter mat right there and it's just getting everything and they'll probably replace that and it just goes back and forth okay guys I think they're about to leave um they, I'm kind of keeping them because they don't want to spend this long in this fish door and pet store but I might actually buy some isopods because I have my leopard gecko in the bioactive terrarium and I bought some online and I haven't really seen them do anything so I might just buy some here they're a little bit more expensive but they have a really cool ones and I don't know if I'll include those in this video or I might just make a separate video or I might just not even make a video about them but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will catch you all on the flippity flop make sure you guys check out flip aquatics down below if you guys want to get some of the best high quality freshwater shrimp in the US you can check them out. Use my code down below. You'll save some on your order. I'll catch you all on the flippy flop. Go later. Bye. Oh yeah, these are the isopods I'm thinking about getting. Dairy cow. Okay, I lied. We're basically going to another... Is that my phone? Nope, my AirPods. Oh, no. Drop my AirPods. Okay, we're going to another pet store because this one's really great. This is only salt water. It's really, really nice. Okay, this is a saltwater only store, but they have some awesome stuff. Oh look, Live Rock, they're, I think they're mixing saltwater in this. They're doing water changes. Um, I had assume, maybe, we're just keeping Live Rock flowing. But just look at this place. These things are so out of my price budget and I could never afford them. <laughs> like look, $180 for that frag. Look at this little fish. Let's look for the most expensive fish and most expensive coral in this store, it's a challenge. Look at that, $40 for those really tiny frags. A little goby right there. The camera's not able to pick up how awesome these things are. Look at all these clownfish, the white ones. Oh my gosh, look at all the coral. Another goby down there. Whoa. Oh, well, that's cool. You can get brine shrimp in like these little tubes that you usually have drinks in. Oh my goodness. RO water. This is what you need to mix your own salt water. This is awesome. They just, some awesome fish stories. We went to that other one and then now we're at this one. It's just so much. Oh, did you just get a shipment? Uh, we got some cool, a lot of frags in this morning. Oh yeah? A lot of the core frags on the other side there. Look, oh, a lionfish. Oh, cool. I want a dwarf lionfish one day. Those things are so beautiful. 
I was just told that there's a freshwater section up top, so we're going up this kind of sketchy stairs. Yo, I really want to, like, they have some beautiful fish. A lionfish is so cool. But yeah, they are invasive. We spent a couple minutes talking about how invasive they are in uh, Florida. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this! It's like brand new! Yeah. Oh, a Pleco? That thing's huge. Oh my gosh, it's like kind of hot. I think they're just heating the whole room. Oh my goodness. I love these little set. That's so cute. The garamis, are they dwarf ones? Oh yeah, the honey garamis. Sweet. Oh, whoa. Look at that goldfish. It's like platinum silver. Wow, look at all the filters. They're running individual systems on each tank. That must cost a lot to run. Some cichlids. Oh, some floating, um, what is this called? Red root floater, I think. I love floating plants. Then they have some more. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Whoa! Look! It's an arowana. Two of them. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at them. Two of them. They're staying there. I don't know if they're okay. Oh my gosh. And then. Oh, there's another one. Wait, guys, look. Pop. There's an arowana. There's three arowana and some discus. Yeah, well, there's some of my favorite, but the arowana is so beautiful. The plant? No, the arowana. The, the fish. They're like baby ones. They get really, really, you know arowana. There's one up here that was, look oh, right there. there. It is right there. Oh, yes, oh, yes, they're yes. beautiful. I love the little uh, hooks on the front of their mouth. They're the little things. And they have peppers. Look at these ones. I don't know if these are brackish ones or completely fresh, but I'm pretty sure they're brackish. <gasps> Some bait. Oh, my gosh. Look at that betta fish. It's purple. Pop, look at that betta fish. It's purple. It's a female. It's so cute. Pink and purple. Watch it follow. Yeah, they look, the puffers usually look outside the tank, and they also have a set of teeth that's really cool, and they eat up like snails. It's, it's adorable. Maybe it's just taking a nap. Oh, both of them are nap. Yeah. Look at how big this pleco is. Oh, there's some baby rainbow fish. Oh, look at these guys. I don't even know what these are. These things are super, super cute. Comment down below if you know what these are. They look really cool in a big school. And then they have, I guess, like crickets back there for other things and some other material for uh, the aquariums. And then they have some, uh, oh look at this, some cool aquascaping stones. So it looks like they're just setting up the store for like the summer. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the video. It is, it is pretty hot in here, but this is really cool. Um, if you guys are in Maryland or Frederick, Maryland, check out this store. I'll leave a link down below and also a link or directions down below for the other pet store we were at. It's getting hot in here. Jeez. I'll catch you all on the Flippy Flop. See you all later. Have a great day. Again, make sure you guys drop a like. Sorry for ending the video earlier, even though we didn't end it. But now, now it's ending. All right, bye.